Hi, I'm Paul Bloor. I'm CTO and co-founder of eDay Inc. in Toronto. So, Paul, I understand that you are the inventor of the technologies be, uh, behind Teen Eye and uh, the, um, the, the copyright uh, images check. Uh, what is the name of it? The Pixel Teen Eye. Teen Eye. Teen Eye. We have uh, three product lines. We right. have uh, Teen Eye, which is a web-wide search image for images where you just upload an image and we search and find where that image has been used. We have PixID, which is really something targeted at editorial photo agencies and that identifies where their images are appearing in print publications magazines and newspapers, uh, and we have Piximilar, which is uh, the idea that given a picture we find all the similar pictures to it, not necessarily the exact same photo, but the photos that have similar shapes, colors, textures, and overall appearance to an image. Interesting. So uh, first time I heard about uh, uh, Piximilar, uh, so can you explain a little bit on that? Sure. Well, there's a lab site that you can go to where you can play with our technologies. It's called labs.edayinc.com, which is I-D-E-E-I-N-C. Dot com and that shows it off. So you can, what we have there is a collection of three million images uh, that have been already indexed, and then you can just, uh, it'll randomly show you a set of images, and you can pick one and say, find me more that look like this. So if you give it some some image, uh, like say a landscape or sunset or something like that, with a strong visual features, we'll find other images that have those similar visual features to so it. So for example, if I give it a picture of the Bam Spring Hotel. Uh, it, may, it may return other similar looking hotels yeah, yeah, absolutely, with different yeah. lighting and or, or right. including yep. Banff, I suppose, mm -hmm. Banff yeah, itself. Yeah. Uh, depending upon what's in the collection. Right now that's a pretty small collection, 3 million is, is especially when you compare it to say Tinai, which is just uh, under half a million right now. 3 million is a very small set, so, uh, but you would find other hotels, for example, that, that have that same appearance. There are other parts to that product which, is such, which include things like color search, so that you can search that same collection by giving it different colors, and we find images that have up to 10 different colors that, uh, that you want to find. Really? Uh, but the, to, to get back to the main focus, I think, which uh, for a day these days, uh, Tin Eye is, is quite new, and uh, I think that you're, well, you will see some exciting things uh, upcoming in the, in the next few weeks and months. Uh, as we expand our index uh, collection. Uh, Kimden, I don't think you've had a chance yet to, to play with it, uh, have you? I think I may. Like, uh, when I uh, actually, uh, I think I may even have blogged about uh, uh, okay. ID, mm. yeah, the image uh, searching uh, capabilities. Uh, I think I read it from a blog somewhere and uh, then okay. I, I played with it and it was really, coo really, really cool. So, Paul, I understand that you have been working in uh, this field for, for 10 years. Can you tell me, like, how did it all start? Uh, just, uh, just a little over eight years, actually. Eight years? Uh, but uh, in any case, um, I, my background is, is in computer science. Uh, I worked, uh, co-founded another firm, actually, in a financial software, of all things, uh, uh, a while ago. Uh, financial Redmond, software? Mm -hmm, risk it? management software. Oh, okay. So Al was Algorithmix, was it? Uh, I, I had worked at Algorithmix, but no, okay. this was uh, my own company. I co-founded oh. with a... Uh, with friend and we we did uh, large scale financial uh, software um, meaning that I got used to the idea of distributed computing and large scale problems um, so when we sold that company it, it sort of freed me up to do what I want and this had been a personal interest from personal research into the idea of image searching I, I uh, recognized that doing something like a, a, a watermark based search uh, using invisible watermarks that doesn't make a lot of sense. You're better off to recognize an image based on the patterns within the image. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started uh, prototyping that in, in two, 2000 and 2001, uh, developed quite a number of different products and different algorithms along the way, and uh, started uh, really Tenai uh, just last year, uh, in, in which had been one of the initial goals of the company to develop a web-wide image search em engine where you just deploy Google for images. Uh, and uh, we're quite pleased with it. It's early days still, but it's it's coming along nicely. So. Mm -hmm. And I understand you guys are using uh, technologies like uh, the AWS. Absolutely. The yeah. The cloud uh, computing and you the can Amazon. actually. Yeah, so we actually already have our own uh, cluster of over 300 machines that we use for the, the PIX ID, the, the magazine and newspaper right. scanning for, for images. So we're, we're pretty used to that idea of, of setting up a cluster. But we uh, also recognize that the scalability of Amazon Web Services is really nice and, and they've got great network connectivity. 
Uh, so we just made the call to let's start uh, running with uh, Amazon Web Services, and it's, it's been a uh, it, it's nice that we can we can cope with pretty much any user load uh, imaginable uh, just by um, firing up more machines in their cloud and uh, if we don't need them you can wind them down so it's it's, uh, it's a handy thing. Mm -hmm. And what is the can you talk a little bit about the revenue models that you guys have and also what is the growth path uh, for you guys? Well, we've got quite a number of different revenue uh, models. I, I'm not going to go into details on all of them because not uh, we won't necessarily. Uh, the, the timing on, on when we release certain components uh, is still being decided, but there are multiple streams. It's it's a core technology that is uh, we see being applicable to basically any place that you've got large image collections, and uh, the same way the the idea of text searching is uh, critical to, to large bodies of text, image searching is critical to large bodies of images, whether it's a, a Flickr site, the web. Uh, the web itself, or whether it's somebody, a, a large company that has just a huge number of internal assets that they that they have to uh, keep track of. Mm -hmm. Well, it's cool. Thanks a lot, uh, Paul, for being in the interview. My pleasure.